Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at DXFs in AutoCAD, uh, how to convert them from our DWGs, and how to open and convert a DXF. Uh, DXFs have been around since 1982 as a drawing exchange format, that's the DXF, allowing you to export or output uh, AutoCAD data, uh, primarily the basics like text, lines, polylines, polygons, uh, and use that or import that into other software uh, throughout the years. It's still pretty common and you'll get asked occasionally to export or send out DXFs of your drawings. Uh, so this is how you can really easily and quickly save them and also hit on a few pointers and tips along the way. Let's jump right into today's video and get going. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, DXFs are a pretty common drawing exchange format or drawing format. Uh, many of the other mapping and drafting software in the industry can work with DXFs as well as some DWG files. So it's pretty common to get a request to send over or convert a drawing to DXF. And there are a few things you wanna be aware of while doing this. So for one, uh, DXFs aren't going to support many or any of the 3D objects that you can be creating in AutoCAD. Uh, for the most part, it's 2D line work, text, polygons, polylines, uh, blocks to some degree, uh, as well as hatching. Now, there are other issues uh, that you may run into if you're using, say, Civil 3D. Since Civil 3D objects, when exported to DXF, don't typically work or uh, transfer through correctly um, but those are just a few things to keep an eye out uh, for uh, whenever possible it's always better to use a native or the standard DWG when importing or working with other software but in a lot of cases DXF is going to be required now to export or save out a standard drawing you're gonna want to make sure you have everything you need in your drawing before saving it and then going up to the AutoCAD drop down here, your file menu, and you may think that it's in the export menu, but looking here, you can see it is not. It's actually under save as, and what you can do is simply click save as or use the save other formats option, but I'm just going to click save as, and the window that pops up here, which I'll move from my other screen, is going to allow you to choose the file type. Now, you're probably familiar with this and it's a really simple process. All you're gonna to wanna to do is hit this drop down and go down to the bottom of the list. This is where you're gonna get the DXF options. Now, you can see they've changed or updated the format uh, of the DXF file roughly every three or four years. Uh, with the newest version being 2018. I'll typically stick to the newer version or one of the newest versions, 2013 or 2018, unless it's specifically requested for an older version for some legacy software that you're trying to import your AutoCAD drawing into. By selecting DXF, you can then simply give it a file name. So we'll call this one floor plan and it's going to save your drawing to DXF. Hitting enter is going to save that out and I'll bring up the folder over here and you can see now we've got a DXF. Now you can simply open a DXF in AutoCAD. So this is part two uh, of the process. So I've just copied that file path. We're gonna click open up here in AutoCAD and you can see that it's already gone to my data folder where I saved it, but this floor plan DXF is not showing up. To open or uh, import DXFs, you're gonna wanna change the file type once again here to DXF. You can now see it here on the list, selecting it and hitting open is going to allow us to open it. You can see it's already in use since I have it open here. Uh, we saved as, so it converted our existing drawing into a DXF. But saying yes here is going to open it as a read-only option. So you can see it behaves and looks just like an AutoCAD file, uh, but this is going to be 
uh, in the DXF format, so other software is going to recognize all of these objects and types, allowing you to open or use them in, say, ArcMap or uh, another GIS software, as well as, say, uh, water uh, modeling software like PC Swim or Hecras are going to be able to import DXFs as well. Next up, we're going to look at how to save or convert our existing DXF. Say you've been sent a DXF and you want to convert or save that as a common DWG so you can reference or bring that into your existing drawings or a project that you're working on. Uh, before we jump into that, though, I want to remind you guys that my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflow course is available for instant download right now. It's packed full of over 10 years of experience. Uh, I've put together all of my favorite tips, tricks, fundamentals, and workflows to save you guys time and effort when learning AutoCAD and design in general. Uh, in particular, uh, there's an entire section on exporting uh, files and transmitting them, packaging them up, uh, as well as workflows including how to set up templates and styles, uh, external references, and a ton, ton more. You can see all of that at the link up above or down below, uh, where it has a full run through of everything that's included in the course. And it's on sale right now uh, using those links discounted for viewers and subscribers like yourself. All right, so continuing on, we're going to be taking a look here at converting this existing DXF that we just created back into a DWG. So there's a few ways you can do that. Probably the easiest and most straightforward is going to be using that save as command once again. Uh, it's gonna work in the same way when we went to DXF, you can simply hit save as, hit the drop down here and choose the newest DWG format, give it a name and hit save. Now you've got a standard DWG that you can now work with in AutoCAD, reference into an existing project or drawing, or send out uh, as DWG format if somebody has requested that you swap the formats. It's as simple as an, a save and save as. Uh, again, DXF, you want to check them once you've created them. Make sure you open it up and it looks the way you think it will. Uh, it's always good anytime you're sending any file conversion or file format out that is not the native format you've been working with to open it up in a similar software to what you're sending it out to be used in. Uh, so if you have, say, ArcMap or any GIS software that they're looking to use, opening that up and bringing a DXF in just to see how it looks and how things are going to come across is a great way to become familiar with the different file types and how you can kind of look out for the client or uh, customer that has requested it so you know how it's going to look and come across to them when they open it up in a software that is not AutoCAD. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys picked up something with DWGs or DXFs here. Uh, they're pretty simple to work with, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to check out my Workflows and Fundamentals course in those links up, and, up above and down below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.